Hello, I'm Andrei Mitrkov, a PhD student at IMT Atlantic, and I would like to present to you the paper Staircase Traversal via Reinforcement Learning for Active Reconfiguration of Assistive Robots. Agile and elderly people require personal assistance. To elevate their autonomy wars, mobile robotics may introduce intelligent assistive agents capable of indoor navigation and object manipulation. In the scope of our work, we use a tracked mobile robot equipped with a robotic arm and subtracts, destined to operate in 3D multi floor environments. A major challenge amounts to autonomously and safely traversing staircases. In earlier works, this problem was addressed with customized solutions based on accurate stair parameter estimates, which complicates portability platforms with different or unknown kinematics or poor environment observability, weakly taking into consideration the dynamics of physical interaction. We present a learning-based control approach for the problem of staircase negotiation, applied to an articulated tracked robotic vehicle. To this end, we study how the incorporation of stability criteria into the reward function or the presence of noise may influence the learned behavior. Following a conventional reinforcement learning framework, the agent interacts with the environment with an action A given a state S and transits to the next state S next, receiving the reward R. In our case, the vector A consists of flipper angle rotations. The state corresponds to the relative position of the next obstacle, which is a stair edge and actual front and rear flipper angles. The relative posi position of the robot's android to the next step edge consists of uh, the horizontal distance Px and the vertical distance Py. We use a two-layer perceptron as a policy representation, where each layer consists of 32 neurons. Among various possible policy gradient algorithms, we have selected proximal policy optimization as a state-of-the-art algorithm that exhibits good trade-off between ease of tuning, sample complexity, ease of implementation, and good performance. The policy used for traversing terrains has to ensure safety of the robot motion in some manner. To do so, we studied the integration of penalty terms into the reward function. We wish to incorporate two criteria. The first one is based on normalized energy stability margin, which is simply the difference between the maximum and current centroid height. We introduce the instability measure, which is the current centroid height. The second criterion uses the notion of the support polygon and aims to maximize the projection of the robot footprint on the stair surface by favoring the flat flipper configuration. We have designed three reward functions. The first one corresponds to the unsafe or default policy. In this case, the robot obtains a positive reward proportional to the traveled distance, which is assigned only once. The second reward function sums up the weighted positive reward with a penalization term, equal to the time steps in stability. The last reward function corresponds to the sum of the travel distance and the relation between the deviation from the maximum projection and the maximum projection. Experiments were conducted as follows. First of all, in the beginning, of every episode, the robot was placed in the start position, then the constant effort was applied to main tracks to move forward. After D1 reaching, positive reward starts being assigned. The episode ends successfully, when the robot attains the finish line or with the maximum per permissible number of time steps is reached. For every new episode, a random staircase was generated with parameters varying around those of real-world staircases. Every 20 episodes, the policy was evaluated on the test stairs with small, medium and big step and slope parameters. The number of steps was always the same and equal to 5. For every type of reward function, we performed three training repetitions. The NASM-based and SP policies converge as early as the unsafe policy. The optimal reward values per episode are slightly lower for policies that incorporate safety because of unavoidable necessity to perform less safe actions. 
with respect to testing performance. We observe that the mean reward tends to become higher during learning, which suggests a successful learning progress independently of the staircase. Instability for all three policy types starts to increase after 100 episodes, which correlates to learning curves. By the end of the training, the lowest instability corresponds to any sim based and default policies, while the instability of SP tends to be higher. We can argue that a safety drop is unavoidable to perform in order to accomplish the main task of stair traversal. Test instability curves show the same behavior. The SP policy is less safe by the end of training, while the NASM based and unsafe policies have the same instability values. The projection assessment curves show that the NASM and SP based policies tend to better ensure a flat robot configuration compared to the default policy. The NASM and SP policies perform better in most cases than the unsafe policy after episodes. NASM based and projection penalization terms could be considered as improving traction. The SP policy tends to increase its projection and it learns desired behavior of flippers. Due to potential slipping of the platform while traversing the staircase, it's important to assess the robustness of policy learning in the presence of padding levels of noise. We simulate corrupted estimation of X and Y relative coordinates via a Gaussian error model and experiment with three levels of noise using the baseline reward function. We can observe that policies learned with low or medium noise converge as the default policy. Presence of noise doesn't influence safety criteria. On the other hand, high noise in state estimation decreases the learning convergence rate. We invite you to watch the video which presents qualitative results. The default policy is used for negotiation of the medium staircase. We can see that the rear flippers look for contact points behind the robot. The front flippers are mostly unused. The NASM based policy is used for negotiation of the medium staircase. The front flippers and rear flippers look for contact points. The SP policy is used for negotiation of the medium staircase. The front flippers and rear flippers look for contact points. The default policy is tested on a stair with a maximum slope and a bigger height. The robot accomplishes the task, thus the learned policy shows the generalization capability. In this work, we have presented a reinforcement learning framework for the staircase negotiation. Within 200 learned trajectories, the robot learned how to safely traverse staircases represented in real world ranges. It has shown the generalization capability to unseen stair parameters. A two way perception is enough to represent these policies. Incorporation of the projection maximization into the reward function produced a desired behavior in terms of flipper sticking to the stair. The NASM based policy doesn't behave significantly different with respect to the unsafe policy. The SP based policy produces a desired behavior in terms of flipper sticking to the stair. Finally, while noise sensory data may decrease convergence rate, the final control policy attains the maximum reward in most cases. Thank you for your attention.